Good morning, everybody. In this life, when dealing with other people, we need a certain amount of tact. It's as much how you say what you say as it is what you say. If you want to get along better with others, you need to improve your communication skills. Be able to ask for what you need, want, desire, with an even keel in your temperament, with an appropriate tone and demeanor, with appropriate cadence, with the appearance of self-confidence, but not being demanding not being too loud, not being too reactive, not being too um, needy, or beaten down. You want your body posture to be open. You want your tone to be even even pace, even keel. And when you approach discussions with others, especially the more sensitive discussions, you want to come in with an air of confidence and competency. And 80% of that is based on our body language and our tone of voice. Because 80% of communication is nonverbal. We existed for a long time before we were able to create language with each other. So there is a lot of communication coming off of your body. Be very aware of your body and the signals you are sending when you're communicating with other people. Have some tact when dealing with others. It can be easy, especially when you're in a heated moment or a highly sensitive moment to react, to just let your emotions take the driver's seat and go in and tell off your boss, tell how it is, tell him that you, you know, he owes you this job, he owes you this raise, he owes you this. Yell at your partner for being late repeatedly. Tell them how they disrespected you, etc. To lose your cool and approach the situation without thought, without careful consideration. To move through this life with other people um, like an elephant in a china shop. Just bowling over everyone with your immediate reactions. Not well thought out, not well controlled. Not with a gentle, easy demeanor, manner, affect, body, tone of voice, and what you say after you Make sure that you are not giving off signals non-verbally through your tone of voice or through your body, such as the look on your face, crossing your arms, clenching your fists, doesn't sound or come across very pleasant no matter how sweet what you try to say is. Try to be more effective in your communication by thinking through what you're going to say and how you're going to say it. Try rehearsing. Just like we delay emo immediate emotional gratification, take a pause and delay 
your immediate reaction to these scenarios and situations that you must address and navigate with other people. So that you aren't just instantaneously reacting based on your emotions with your logical mind just completely out of the car and you're driving completely on your emotions and you're just reacting um, the way a small child would just react. You need to take a pause, take into consideration what is it you want to say how do you want to come across? Based on the individual, what would be the most effective approach? And make sure you are conscious and mindful during the conversation of what you are doing with your body, with your face, with your tone of voice. If it starts to get elevated or heated or you become reactive, take a pause, recollect yourself and bring it back down, even if you have to literally remove yourself from the situation momentarily. But as we react, we have emotions tend to take over when we're dealing with other people. And especially in triggering or tense or difficult, complex situations, um, in the heat of the moment, we can lose our um, rational mind and our emotions just take the lead and lead us into um, destructive communication. Um, so you want to be gentle, tactful, thoughtful. You may even want to rehearse these important conversations ahead of time so that you have the general synopsis of what you are going to do and what you're going to say, how you're going to say it ahead of time and possible responses they might give and how you might respond to those responses. And in general in life, try to treat others with an easy, gentle manner. Move gracefully, kindly, compassionately, considerately of others with an easy touch, an easy manner, softness, sweetness. My mother used to say you get farther with honey than you do with vinegar. You get more out of people. You get farther with people into relationship, into connection, into having your needs met and your voice heard if you approach it with sweetness, kindness, consideration versus bitterness, attitude, ingratitude, demanding, etc. But you also do not want to be a wilting flower, a withering daisy. When you have a need, a real legitimate need, when your boundaries have been crossed, and you must stand your ground when you need to care for yourself against toxic relationships, toxic situations, when things really do need to be addressed and you really do need to be heard. You have to develop the confidence and competence to cut through directly, decisively, yes, no, speak clearly, confidently, with sincerity and competency and effectiveness that we treat, teach other people how to treat us. So when the time is called for, yes, don't come in like a bull in a china shop and do whatever you want, but you have to be strong enough and solid enough in your identity and your, your self-worth and your self-esteem to realize you do have rights, you do have needs, you do have wants, you do deserve to be treated in a certain level of cordialness and respect, and you have the right to expect and demand that out of other people in an appropriate and effective way. Uh, 
I believe I did a video about Dear Man a long time ago. It's a DBT skill, dialectical behavioral therapy skill, about um, more effective communication, getting your needs met. But when it comes to navigating people, <laughs> focus on your communication skills, your body language, your language language, and the tone and pace of your voice. Rehearse conversations ahead of time. Be gracious and considerate by and large, but be able to be confident enough when necessary that you can cut to the chase and concisely and clearly articulate your needs.